Welcome to the Sean Kelly on Movies podcast, and this is my live uh, reactions to the uh, nominations for the uh, 96th Academy Awards, which uh, just happened uh, just a few minutes ago. So uh, we're going to quickly uh, run down uh, the uh, nominations. So Best Picture nominees... Uh, American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, The Zone of Interest. So the uh, leading uh, nominee is uh, Oppenheimer, which has uh, 13 nominations, and uh, that is uh, followed by uh, Killers of the Flower Moon with 10, and Poor Things with 11. So, Poor Things is the second place. So, um, and uh, um, Barbie got a lot more nominations than expected. Uh, Barbie got uh, eight nominations, which include uh, Surprise nominations for uh, Ryan Gosling in Actor in a Supporting Role and America Ferreira in Actress in a Supporting Role. And um, as expected, it got uh, two Best Song nominations for uh, I'm Just Ken and uh, the Billie Eilish song What Was I Made For. Uh, hello, uh, just a quick uh, mending of the uh, commentary on uh, Barbie's uh, Oscar nominations. Uh, since I uh, originally uh, recorded the podcast, there was a lot of uh, backlash against the uh, fact that neither uh, Margot Robbie or Greta Gerwig got uh, nominations for the film. And frankly, uh, <laughs> it didn't even cross my mind at the time, so I um, just uh, thought to, uh, to add this little um, A-side saying that I did not mean not to. Now back to your regularly scheduled podcast. So, um, uh, so some other uh, notable films are um, American Fiction was the uh, People's Choice Award at TIFF. I'm very happy that I <laughs> got to interview uh, Cord Jefferson on uh, the uh, TIFF Red Carpet, and uh, you can watch uh, the video on my YouTube channel, and he is now an Oscar nominee for uh, Best Adapted Screenplay. Uh, sadly, American Fiction didn't get any directing nominations, but it did get uh, nominations for uh, uh, Jeffrey Wright in Best Actor, uh, Sterling K. Brown in uh, Best Supporting Actor, as well as Original Score. Uh, let's see. Um, we have uh, Anatomy of a Fall, which uh, was the uh, Palme d'Or winner, and it uh, ended up getting uh, five nominations, which uh, included uh, uh, Sandra Huller for uh, Best Actress, and also Best Directing, Best Film Editing, and original screenplay. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Hayao Miyazaki's The uh, Boy and the Heron is probably the front runner now for um, best animated feature. I think its uh, main opponent is uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. So, uh, probably a, a surprise omission, probably be. Uh, Pedro Almodovar's uh, Strange Way of Life not getting a nomination for live-action short film, though uh, Wes Anderson did get a nomination in the category for the uh, Netflix short The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. Um, so, uh, best documentary. So, uh, it's... There's a Canadian 
nominee in the category for um, uh, To Kill a Tiger, which is a production of the uh, NFP. And uh, the other documentary nominees include uh, The Eternal Memory, uh, Bobby Wine, The People's President, Four Daughters, and 20 Days in uh, Maripo. Oh, well, Godzilla Minus One got one nomination for uh, visual effects. Uh, it would be great if it actually won <laughs> the award. Uh, oh, the, the Holdovers got uh, five uh, nominations. So uh, uh, Paul Giamatti for uh, Best Actor, uh, Devin Joy Randolph for um, performance by an actress in a supporting role, uh, film editing, best picture, original screenplay. Uh, I think uh, Paul Giamatti is the spoiler for uh, best actor, which uh, I think the front runner in that is uh, Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. And uh, oh, it's interesting that um, for what was reported to be uh, John Williams' final score. He uh, did get a nomination for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, John Williams hinted that it might not be his final score, even though he's like in his 90s now. Uh, so, oh, Ma- Maestro. Maestro got uh, seven nominations, including the... Uh, Best Actor nomination for uh, Bradley Cooper in Old Age Makeup. And uh, Carrie Mulligan got a Best Actress nomination. Cinematography, makeup and hairstyling, Best Picture, sound, original screenplay. Uh, I liked Maestro, but I think um, this is the film that's been getting a lot of backlash. So I think... uh, this is probably most blatantly Oscar Beatty film of the bunch, and uh, so it's uh, interesting that um, Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One got uh, two uh, nominees for um, uh, sound and uh, visual effects, and just uh, mentioning it because it's, it's no longer Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One; it's just Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning now. <laughs> uh, oh, some surprise nominations are. Uh, acting nominees for uh, Nyad, which is the uh, pick about the free diver, um, and um, we've got uh, Annette Benning getting a Best Actress nomination and Jodie Foster getting a Best Supporting Actress nomination. Past Lives is probably the biggest surprise to get a Best Picture nomination. It only has two nominations for Best Picture and Best Original Screenplay. Uh, it's probably going to end up being an also ran, but it actually it, it might it might end up winning best original screenplay. Let's see. Uh, let me see what the other nominees in that category are: Anatomy of the Fall, The Holdovers, Maestro, May December, and uh, Past Lives. So yeah, pa- uh, it's either going to be. The holdovers or past lives, I think, for this one. I think I think screenplay is probably the only nominee that May December got. Yeah, well, one nominee, uh, May December. Let's see, uh, what other films got a lot of nominees? Uh, uh, the Zone of Interest got uh, five, which is uh, probably a pleasant surprise to some uh, who thought it might have only gotten Best International Feature Film, which it did. Uh, the of our nominations they got were um, Best Directing for Jonathan Glazer, Best Picture, um, Best Sound, and Adapted Screenplay. So um, let's take a look at the other uh, nominees for Best International Feature Film. So uh, we got uh, Io Capitano, which is an Italian film never heard of, uh, Perfect Days from Japan, uh, Society of the Snow, which is the plane crash movie in the Alps. Uh, that's from Spain. It's a Netflix film. Uh, the Teacher's Lounge, which I just saw last week. Uh, it's uh, pretty good. That's from Germany. And, of course, the Zone of Interest probably be the front runner in the category. And it's a film from the United Kingdom, but it's in German. So I guess that's why it qualified for this uh, 
category. Uh, let's see. What are big nominees? Let's see. What else can I talk about here? Holdover has got five nominations. Uh, Paul Giamatti got best acting. Daphne John Rudolph got performance by an actress supporting role. Uh, film editing, best picture, original screenplay. Feature films with two or more nominations. We have Oppenheimer is leading with 13. Poor Things is next up with 11. Killers of the Moon is 10. Barbie is 8. Maestro has 7. American Fiction has 5. Uh, we have The Fall has 5. The Holdovers has 5. Zone of Interest has 5. Napoleon has 3. Uh, the Creator is 2. Mission Impossible has 2. Nyad has 2. Past Lives has 2. And Society of the Snow has 2. Okay, so let's take a look at these Oscar nominees fact sheet from the Academy. So, so uh, the so the producer so American Fiction produced by Ben LeClaire, Nicholas Carmagos, Cord Jefferson, and then Jermaine Johnson. This is the first Best Picture nomination for all four: Anatomy of the Fall, Marie and Luciani, and David Forum producers. This is the first nomination for both. Barbie, David Heyman, Margot Robbie, Tom Ackley, and Robbie Bennett producers. This is the fourth Best Picture nomination for David Heyman. He was previously nominated for Gravity, Marriage Story, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is the first Best Picture nomination for Margot Robbie and Tom Ackley. It's the second Best Picture nomination for Robbie. Brenner, who was previously nominated for the Dallas Bias Club, The Holdovers, uh, Mark Johnson, producer. This is the third Best Picture nomination for Best Mark Johnson, who won an Oscar for Rain Man. He was also nominated for Bugsy. Killers of the Flower Moon, Dan Freakin, Bradley Thomas, Mark Scorsese, Daniel Lupi, producers. This is the first nomination for both Dan Freakin and Bradley Thomas. This is the fourth. Best Picture nomination for Martin Scorsese. He was previously nominated for Hugo, The Wolf of Wall Street, and The Irishman. This is the third Best Picture nomination for Daniel Lupi. He was previously nominated for There Will Be Blood and Phantom Thread. Maestro, Bradley Cooper, Steven Spielberg, Fred Brenner, Amy Durning, Christy Macosto Krieger, producers. This is the fifth Best Picture nomination for Bradley Cooper. He was previously nominated for American Sniper, A Star is Born, Joker, and Nightmare Alley. This is the 13th Best Picture nomination for Steven Spielberg, who won the award with Schindler's List. Other nominations were for ETBS Terrestrial, The Color Purple, Saving Private Ryan, Munich, Letters from Iwo Jima, War Horse, Lincoln, Bridge of Spies, The Post, West Side Story, and The Fablemans. This is the first nomination for both Fred Brenner and Amy Turney. This is the fifth Best Picture nomination for Christy McCosco Krieger. She was nominated for Bridge of Spies, The Path, The, the Post, uh, West Side Story, and The Fablemans. Oppenheimer, Emma Thomas, Charles Rovin, and Christopher Nolan producers is the third Best Picture nomination for both Emma Thomas and Christopher Nolan. Together, they were nominated for Inception and Dunkirk. This is the second Best Picture nomination for Charles Rovin, who was previously nominated for American Hustle. So Past Lives, uh, David Honajosa, Christine Bichon, and Pamela Coffer producer. This is the first nomination for all three. Poor Things, Ed Queenie, Andrew Liu, Yorgo Slanfamos, and Emma Stone producers. This is the third Best Picture nomination for Ed Gini. He was previously nominated for Room and The Favorite. This is the second Best Picture nomination for Yorgo Slanfamos. He was previously nominated for The Favorite. This is the first Best Picture nomination for both Andrew Lowe and Emma Stone. The Zone of Interest, James Wilson producer. This is his first nomination. Okay, so so that so. Uh, for the achievement in directing, Anatomy of All, Justin Triet. This is her second nomination, including her nomination this year for original screenplay. Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, Martin Scorsese. This is his 10th nomination in this category and his 16th overall, including his picture the nomination this year. He won for directing for The Departed and was nominated in the category for Raging Bow, The Last Temptation of Christ, Goodfellas, Gangs of New York, The Aviator, Hugo, Wolf of Wall Street, and The Irish Band. He has nominations for the adapted screenplays for Goodfellas, The Age of Innocence, and Best Picture nominations for Hugo, The Wolf of Wall Street, and The Irishman. 
Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan. This is uh, Christopher Nolan's second nomination in, in this category and his eight overall, including his Best Picture and Adapted Screenplays nominations this year. He was nominated for his original screenplay for Memento, Best Picture and Original Screenplay for Inception, and Best Picture and Directing for Dunkirk. Poor Things, Joko Stephanopoulos. This is his second nomination in this category and his fifth overall, including his Best Picture nomination this year. He was previously nominated for his original screenplay for The Lobster and for Directing and Best Picture for The Favorite. Zone of Interest, Jonathan Glazer. This is his second nomination, including his nomination this year for Adapted Screenplay. So, performance in an actor in a leading role. Bradley Cooper as Leonard Bernstein in Maestro. This is his fourth nomination in this category and his 12th overall, including his Best Picture Original Screenplay nominations this year. He was nominated for his leading role in Silver Linings Playbook, American Sniper, and A Star is Born, and his supporting role in American Hustle. He was nominated for Best Picture for American Sniper, A Star is Born, Joker, and Nightmare Alley, and for Adapted Screenplay for A Star is Born. Uh, Coleman Domingo as Bayard Rustin in Rustin. This is his first nomination. Paul Giamatti as Paul Hunnam in The Holdovers. This is his second nomination and first in this category. He was previously nominated for his supporting role in Cinderella Man. Killian Murphy as J. Robert Oppenheimer in Oppenheimer. This is his first nomination. Jeffrey Wright as Felonius Monk Ellison in American Fiction. This is his first nomination. For performance of an actor in a supporting role, Sterling K. Brown has Clifford Ellison in American Fiction. This is his first nomination. Robert De Niro as William Hale in Killers of the Flower Moon. This is his ninth nomination and third in this category. He won Oscars for supporting role in The Godfather Part Two and his leading role in Raging Bull. Other nominations were for leading roles in Taxi Driver, The Deer Hunter, Awakenings, and Cape Fear and for a supporting role in Silver Linings Playbook, and for Best Picture for The Irishman. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Louis Strauss in Oppenheimer. This is his third nomination and second in this category. He was previously nominated for his leading role in Chaplin and his supporting role in Tropic Thunder. Ryan Gosling as Ken and Barbie. This is his third nomination and first in this category. He's previously nominated for his leading roles in Half Nelson and La La Land. Mark Ruffalo as Duncan Wedderburn in Poor Things. This is his fourth nomination in this category. He was previously nominated for supporting roles in The Kids Are All Right, Foxcatcher, and Spotlight. Performance by an actress in a leading role. Annette Benning as Deanna Nyad in Nyad. This is her fifth nomination and fourth in this category. She was nominated for a supporting role in The Grifters and leading roles in American Beauty, Being Julia, and The Kids Are All Right. Lily Gladstone as Molly Burkhart in Killers of the Fire Moon. This is her first nomination. Sandra Huller as Sandra in Anatomy of a Fall. This is her first nomination. Carrie Mulligan as Felicia Montaglair in Maestro. This is her third nomination in this category. She was nominated for her leading roles in an Education and Promising Young Woman. Emma Stone as Bella Baxter in Poor Things. This is her second nomination in this category and her fifth overall, including her nomination this year for Best Picture. She won an Oscar for leading role in La La Land and nominated for supporting roles in Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance and The Favorite. Performance by an actress in a supporting role. Emily Blunt as Kitty Oppenheimer in Oppenheimer. This is her first nomination. Danielle Brooks as Sophia in The Color Purple. This is her first nomination. American Ferreira as Gloria in Barbie. This is her first nomination. Uh, Jodie Foster as Bonnie Stowe in Naya. This is her fifth nomination and second in this category. She won Oscars for her leading roles in The Accused and Silence of the Lambs. Her other nominations are for her supporting role in Taxi Driver and her leading role in Nell. Devine Joy Randolph as Mary Lamb in the Holdovers. This is her first nomination. Okay, American Screenplay. Adapted Screenplay, I mean. American Fiction, written for the screen by Cord Jefferson, based upon the novel Erasure by Percival Everett. This is his second nomination, including his nomination this year for Best Picture. Barbie, written by Greta Gerwig and Noel Baumbach, based on Barbie by Mattel. 
This is the fourth nomination and third in the writing category for Greta Gerwig. She was nominated for directing original screenplay for Lady Bird and for adapted screenplay for Little Woman. This is the fourth nomination and third in the writing category for Noah Baumbach, who was nominated for his original screenplay for The Squid and the Whale and for Best Picture and Original Screenplay for Marriage Story. Oppenheimer, written for the screen by Christopher Nolan, based on the book American Prometheus, The Triumph and Tragedy, Tragedy of J. Robert Oppenheimer by Terry Bird and Martin G. J. Sherwin. This is the third nomination in writing category and his eighth overall, including Best Picture and Directing nominations this year. He was nominated for his original screenplay for Memento and Best Picture and Original Screenplay for Inception and Best Picture and Directing for Dunkirk. Poor Things, screenplay by Tom, Tony McNamara, based on the novel by Alastair Gray. This is the second nomination. He was nominated for his original screenplay for The Favorite. The Zone of Interest, written by Jonathan Glazer, based on the novel by Martin Amos. This is his second nomination, including his nomination this year for directing. Original screenplay, Anatomy of a Fall, screenplay, Justin Triet, uh, Arthur Harari. This is the second nomination for Justin Triet, including her nomination this year for directing. This is the first nomination for Arthur Harari. The Holdovers, written by David Hemmingson. This is his first nomination. Ma Maestro, written by Bradley Cooper and Josh Singer. This is Bradley Cooper's second nomination in the writing category and his 12th overall, including Best Picture and Lead Actor nominations this year. He was nominated for his leading roles in Silver Lang's Playbook, American Sniper, and A Star is Born, and for a supporting role in American Asso. He was nominated for Best Picture for American Sniper, Star is Born, Joker, and Nightmare Alley, and for Adapted Screenplay and A Star is Born. This is the second nomination for Josh Singer, who won an Oscar for Original Screenplay for Spotlight. May December, screenplay by Sammy Birch, story by Sammy Birch and Alex Mechanic. This is the first nomination for both. Past Lives, written by Celine Song. This is her first nomination. The Oscars are uh, set to air on March 10th uh, on uh, ABC in the United States. Uh, I think it's CTV here in Canada. i uh, probably go to a screening party like I usually do. I don't know how much catching up to do this here. Let's see, uh, best picture. Negative fiction, seen it. Anatomy of a Fall, seen it. Barbie, seen it. Holdovers, seen it. Curse of the Fire Moon, seen it. Maestro, seen it. Oppenheimer, seen it. Past Lives, seen it. Poor Fanks, seen it. Zone of Interest, seen it. So I've seen all the best picture nominees already. So acting, uh, Maestro, seen it. Rustin, haven't seen it. Uh, Holdovers, seen it. Oppenheimer, seen it. American Fiction, seen it. Uh, supporting Role, American Fiction, seen it. Cares of the Thought of Moon, seen it. Oppenheimer, seen it. Barbie, seen it. Poor Things, seen it. Uh, actress in the Leading Role, Nyad, haven't seen it. So, Nyad will probably be one I catch up with. Uh, Cares of the Thought of Moon, seen it. And Abby Fall, seen it. Maestro, seen it. Poor Things, seen it. Uh, let's see. But uh, I haven't seen the musical version of Color Purple. Yeah, but, uh, how many nominations did that get? Yeah, so Daniel Brooks getting supporting actress is the only nomination for uh, the Color Purple, which is is already like an Oscar nominated Steven Spielberg film. Uh, uh, international feature film. I need to catch up with most of these. Uh, I've seen Teachers Lounge. I've seen Zone of Interest. Uh, the other three I haven't seen. I uh, usually see the short films when they play at the light box. Yeah, so this is actually a pretty good year for me. Uh, I should do well in my predictions. Uh, it's always it's always the technical categories that get to me because those are always hit and miss. But the lead ones, uh, so I have a lot of thinking and planning to do. So I'm going to uh, end this uh, podcast for now and uh, I will see you next time.